Hi everyone, I am James Maynard, and I'd like to share with you about how Beth's transformational music has been helping me and others. In my particular case, the journey has been around my cognitive impairment, but you might have other challenges that this healing music could help with. You might identify with me in some important ways, and you may be inspired to start your own journey with this incredibly impactful music. So here goes. I always wanted to be a star, to stand out, a professional baseball player, a famous trumpet player, a fighter for justice, something great. I especially believed that it was critically important to be smart, to excel at school, to become a professional, and not be like my father who laid bricks and worked even in sub-zero temperatures in Fargo, North Dakota. As you can imagine, it was incredibly painful and scary for me when I realized that I was suffering from cognitive decline. It was particularly scary for me because my dad had severe dementia when he died, and I dreaded going down that road. But that's exactly where I was going. I, I had tried my hand at a lot of things in my life, and my two major professions were being a lawyer and a hypnotherapist. Then in 2009, when I was 65, I began to notice that I was losing cases I should have won. I found myself not tracking what other lawyers were saying in the courtroom. And by 2012, I saw that I couldn't even fill out legal forms properly. I gave up my law license. And around the same time, I had to stop offering hypnotherapy, again because of my cognitive impairment. But my problems weren't just professional. They plagued me in my ordinary life. I'll give you two examples. One day, my wife and I realized we'd have to leave a key under a mat for a work person. The only key we had was to the front door, but to be a little safer, my wife Beth suggested we leave the front door key under the back door mat. Now, I couldn't understand that at all. And I argued with the idea of leaving the front door key under a back door mat. Silly, oh well. But this was not an isolated incident. The more I felt lost and confused, the more I became defensive, anxious, and argumentative. Another example had happened a few years earlier. We moved into a house with multiple gates with locks on the uh, external fence. We discussed the locks several times. Then one day I had come through a locked gate when someone commented on the locks. I argued that there were no locks on those gates even though I had just walked through a gate with a lock. I blanked out. Lapses were happening daily. I felt lost and scared, and the more confused I was, the more defensive I felt, and the more I felt the need to argue that I was right. The result was that not only was my thinking capacity diminishing, my personality was getting more belligerent, and my relationships were suffering. I knew I was in trouble, so I tried supplements and other things for the brain. Nothing helped. Finally, in 2018, I heard of Dr. Dale Bredesen, the author of The End of Alzheimer's, who had created a protocol to deal with dementia. I signed on with a Bredesen practitioner and pulled out all the stops. I did the blood work to deal with chemical imbalances. I started on a keto flexitarian diet to bring more ketones to the brain. I, I was fasting 12 to 14 hours a night. I was exercising 45 minutes a day, five to six days a week, and doing the Bredesen recommended Brain HQ program, which I'll explain in a minute. And a couple of years later, I added a LIVO2 machine to bring oxygen to my brain. Doing all this was very expensive, but it was worth it, because at first, all these supports helped me. But by mid-2021, I was declining again, even though I was continuing to do everything I had learned to do. I couldn't stop the decline. It was hard to face, and I was scared. Both Beth and I were worried that we couldn't keep living independently, and we couldn't afford a senior residence. What were we going to do? That led to the fateful night of September 20th, 2021. But first, let me tell you about Brain HQ. Dr. Bredesen's protocol recommended that we use Brain HQ, a program, to exercise and test the brain in six areas, memory, attention, intelligence, navigation, people skills, and brain speed. 
Brunet's view had been scientifically tested and was objective, so I took it seriously. During my years on the Bredesen Protocol, I had been improving in real life, and I was also showing slow improvement in Brain 8Q. But for a long time before listening to Beth's healing music, I had been stagnating or even worsening in these brain games. In some games, I had not improved in a year or more. In fact, I got so discouraged, I stopped playing a lot of them altogether. Shortly after listening to the healing music, I went back through my test records and I saw that in the 90 days prior to the healing music, my brain function had declined four percentiles in memory. Let me explain percentiles. This isn't percentages. Percentiles, brain HQ rates you in terms of your percentile compared to all the people in your age group who are taking the same test, like ranking the top 10% of your class, something like that, or the top 20%. Take a look here at a chart that shows the decline. I was stagnating or even slipping. I was stagnating in memory games, attention games, brain speed games. In fact, in the memory games, uh, game that I played, I dropped from the 70th percentile to the 66th percentile in my age group. And the overall change during those 90 days was a minus four. And I was also slipping in real time in my life. I was having trouble parking between the lines. I was the house cook, yet couldn't remember what a green bean was. I had trouble making the different dinner elements come out on time, and I sometimes forgot what I had just done or what Beth had just said. As I already said, we were desperate. Were we going to be able to hang on to our independence? Would we lose our home? What would happen to our relationship, our closeness, with me becoming so lost and confused? Then, on September 20th, 2021, Beth got the intuitive hit that she might be able to help me by improvising music that could stimulate my brain. That night, after listening to her play some spontaneously intuited music that she had recorded, thank God, I tested myself on Brain HQ. And would you believe I went up two percentiles in the same memory game where I had declined four percentiles over the 90 days? And a few days later, I went up another two percentiles. I was doing everything else the same. The only variable was the music. Encouraged by this turn of events, Beth kept recording healing music, and I kept listening. And in the first 30 days of listening to the music, I had cumulatively increased my standing 10 percentiles in my age group. And you can see this in this next chart. 10% increase in the first 30 days. And I shared this with my Bredesen trained doctor, and he was amazed. And he suggested I do a 90-day test instead of just 30 days. And so I did. After the first 60 days, I checked my totals again. And I had gone up 58% in the areas where I was weakest. And by the way, I was taking tests only in my weakest areas. I was doing fine in the other two areas. Then after 90 days of working with the music, I had gone up a cumulative 70 percentiles in all those games. You can see the numbers in my 90-day Brain HQ results report. In one of the intelligence games, I improved from 66 to 91 percentiles. In another, from 72 to 93. Wow! How did this happen? It's a miracle. And you can also take a look at a screenshot right off of the Brain HQ website, where you can see the changes uh, that were on the screenshot dated uh, the last day of the 90-day period, December the 19th, 2021. 20, For me, at the age of 77, it shows in all the six categories how I was doing, and also I added in the details of each particular brain game, which were available on the site in individual pages, but I wanted it all in one place. So that's why that's there. So you can take your time and read these things to whatever extent you feel it gives you the information you want. Everyone was astonished by these results, especially us. I felt smart, really smart. Maybe as smart as I was when I was 25 while I was in law school. And I was feeling pretty cocky, so I started slacking off. <laughs> I wasn't listening to the music much or doing Brain HQ at all. And it showed. I started declining again. 
And that's when I discovered I had to keep listening to the music and testing my brain to keep prog progressing. I also discovered that emotional issues could get in the way. Sometimes I was able to correlate my dips with fears that had come up for me about getting better. Sometimes not. But notwithstanding the ups and downs, I can say with certainty that overall my brain function has improved dramatically because of the music. And I know it's the music because that was the only variable that had changed from what I'd been doing before. Okay, so now I'm not back at the 25-year-old uh, smartness. I have not been able to achieve that same peak at the height of the 90-day period. But, you know, I've had some droppage here, but I'm still way better than I was. My Brain HQ scores, by the way, are all maintaining at the higher levels I achieved through the music during those 90 days. So 120 days later, I've held steady and improved. And up till now, I continue to hold steady and keep improving. I'm more functional and organized than I have been probably in decades. And my relationships have gotten better too. I have greater clarity of mind, clearer communication, clearer tracking. I don't feel so lost, confused, and argumentative. <laughs> that helps a lot. <laughs> I have better problem-solving skills, and I am engaged more in life. In addition, I have a lot more confidence. I've even give, given clients some hypnotherapy sessions since the music, and I'm sure that I can offer helpful and supportive coaching to our members who are at the supportive membership level or above. Not only do I know about the resistance, the discouragement, the fears, and the ups and downs, I have a lot of experience using the music and the support. Beth has now recorded hours of music, and I listen to it attentively at least 30 minutes a day, typically to start the day. And I have it playing in the background sometimes all day. I know when I listen carefully, I get more benefit. I still have ups and downs, but the progress I have made is astonishing. I get out of it what I put into it. So what's my message to you? We don't know if the music will help you or someone you love. We don't know if it can help people with all kinds of dementia, or if it might work with people whose impairment is worse than mine. If you watch some of the other testimonials, you will see that all kinds of people have been helped in all kinds of ways. We just don't know what can happen for you. What we do know is that this music impacts us on all levels, on many levels. So just give it a try and serve for yourself. We're even offering a 21-day free trial without asking for your credit card. <laughs> Beyond that, my message is, don't give up easily. I've had periods where emotional issues have gotten in the way of my truly embracing the music. And with the help of Beth's counseling and the support of others listening to the healing music, I continue to move forward. To a very great extent, I now have my brain back and my life back. And that's a miracle. Beth and I wish you the best, and we hope you can benefit as much as we have.